Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I thought, why not do something Windows XP related? And then I thought to myself, hmm, what's the tiniest version of Windows XP? I think I may have found it. So we're gonna be looking at Micro XP, which is basically, as I've said before, the smallest version of Windows XP. It was actually first released in 2008, so over 15 years, and this is still pretty much getting talked about left and right. So what would be the point of something like this? Well, maybe if you had like a really old computer, like say, oh, I don't know, like 64 megabytes of RAM, for example. Crusty window.ws, which by the way, shout outs to them for this content. It really helped when researching these Windows versions. We're going to look at Micro XP and see how light it really is. And yeah, we can do 40 gigs. 40 gigs, 512 megs. We can actually, we'll bump this up to 4 gigs because why not? And we're just going to leave this at one core because I was having issues the last time I was using more than one core with XP with VMware. So... Let's just boot this virtual machine up and let's see. All right, so, so far this first part, this actually seems pretty much identical to vanilla XP, but actually, oh wow, wait, this is a difference. Look how quickly it's copying everything. Actually, it's not even just the fact that it's quickly copying everything. It's just because there's so little to copy that, yeah, look how quick this is. I mean, we're already... <laughs> We're already getting ready for the second part. Let's see what we got. Okay, so the splash screen looks about the same. And that, it didn't even finish going to the right of the bar. Micro XP by experience. Yeah, I can imagine this is probably going to be a bit of a shorter episode because, well, it's lighter XP. I mean, what can there really be? You know, don't make me say the line from my React OS video. Don't make me say, okay, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to say it once. This looks like Windows 2000. Before we continue on, again, the last video, I've just been getting, you know, just a bunch of support. And I really appreciate every single one of you who, you know, who watch my content, who like it. You know, it just... It just gives me the motivation to keep going. So if you guys like the video, you know, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more upcoming content, you know, share the video, get it, get it out there. It would really help me out a ton. Okay, why is this taking forever? I don't know why this is stuck. Alrighty, let's try this again. So I had to delete the old virtual machine, made a new vir- Yeah, now I just made a new virtual machine. I'm gonna install it onto here and- Alrighty, there we go. I had to restart that like three or four times. I don't know why it's it wasn't just not- I don't know why it was just not working, but hey, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, that actually kind of scared me for a sec. Like, I thought- I thought it froze again, and I was like, ah, oh, no, not again. But no, yeah, it's- it's installing, so yeah, we're good. I actually want to try installing this onto like like an old like retro computer like from the mid 90s just to see how it would run. Yeah, see, look how quickly that booted. Yeah, if you're installing VMware tools, you always want to select complete cuz it'll pretty much install everything, the audio, the graphics, input everything. Or not having the mouse driver is okay, just as long as we have the video driver and or the sound driver, we should be fine. I'm not using this forever anyway. Yeah, this is just a temporary virtual machine, so it's not that big of a deal if we don't have mouse input. Okay, there we go. So, yep, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> here we are. Micro XP, so we got, small, I apologize for the bad DPI, but in this case, there's just nothing I can do. So, let's, yeah, let, anyway, let's go back to experience. Let's see what we got here. Web browser, what do we got for a web browser? Browser? What is Browser? Ooh, I actually, I like the look of the, this reminds me of Media Player, doesn't it? Like, it's even got the same look to the buttons and everything it, it just reminds me so much of media player all right so we can get on to google so actually let's download the latest yeah let's download my pal at least we'll have a modern browser 
Oh, come on. Let me guess. So am I going to have to download Firefox? And then I'm going to have to download my pal. Oh, that is so annoying. Oh my god, I can't even go on to any of these web pages. <laughs> yeah, I think internet-wise, unless if I transfer the files from another computer, I, yeah, yeah, you're not going anywhere internet-wise. I mean, maybe Google, maybe a couple of lighter sites, but stuff like YouTube, definitely a no-go. God, I can't even, yeah, I can't even go to the websites to download my pal. It's so bad. The Nathie's Toasty Tech Tech. This has to work. There's no way this doesn't work. See? Yeah. There's no way. How does this not work? How in the... <laughs> does this not work? Oh my god, it's not even loading like the backgrounds or anything. What? This browser is fucking worthless. Yeah, 2007. Yeah, that kind of explains. But even then, that should work. Yeah, again, this version of XP was released back in 2008, so... Obviously, I don't think a lot of the stuff is actually going to work here. DirectX Diagnostics. Let's see what we got for DirectX. If it's even... If it's even going to show up. Oh yeah, DirectX 9. The latest version for XP. DirectX 9.0C. Yeah, this is your, um, what do you call it? Your partitioning software in Windows. Yeah, this looks pretty much the exact same as even the modern versions of this software. It's pretty much identical like it's even got the same like bars it's got the same everything it really has not changed since windows 2000 actually let's bump up the font since you guys can't see that well with this hello okay come on world hello world <laughs> every first lesson for programming Gotta love it. Even in a light version of Windows like this, you gotta have paint. But yeah, no, you can draw, you can just do whatever, whatever your heart desires. Oh, you got volume control. You got volume control at least. Honestly, I'm not even sure if the sound works. It says it works? Yeah, see, it's got, cre it's got the Creative Sound Blaster PCI, but... So it should work, I just can't really test it because there's nothing on here. There's literally nothing on this operating system. Yeah, look at this. You barely have any services here. And actually, a couple of these I could turn off, like tele telephony. If you wanted to get real light, uh, I would not disable plug and play. Yeah, there's just some services here I would still turn off if you want to make it like extra, as light as possible. That's actually going to do it for this quick video. See, I told you it'd be a quick video. So if you guys like the content, you know, like I said, the con, you know, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends. You know, it would really help me out. And until next time, guys, peace.